Over on my podcast, From John to Justin, I looked at the life and career of every single Prime Minister in Canadian history, all 23 of them, and now I'm counting them down, from the worst to the best. And we're on number 9, and for number 9, I chose Jean Chrétien. Now my Twitter followers, they chose Brian Mulroney. I had him a couple of spots below that. So, let's learn about Jean Chrétien. Jean Chrétien had a long history in the House of Commons from 1963 to 1986 before he left politics. He would return to the House of Commons in 1990 when he became the leader of the Liberal Party. In 1993, he was elected Prime Minister in a majority government victory that reshaped the electoral map of the country. For the next 10 years, until 2003, he led Canada as Prime Minister and brought in many changes. He would implement several environmental laws, such as the updated Canadian Environmental Protection Act, Species at Risk Act, and the Pest Control Products Act. He led Canada through the Quebec referendum in 1995 that nearly resulted in the province leaving Canada. Afterwards, his government created the Clarity Act, which makes it much more difficult for a province to leave Confederation. His government also advanced the Youth Criminal Justice Act, eliminated a 30-year-old budget deficit, and laid down the groundwork to legalize same-sex marriage. And while he did send the Canadian military into Yugoslavia and Afghanistan, he did not send Canada into the Iraq War. His later years as Prime Minister would see several problems, the largest of which was the sponsorship scandal, which would eventually sink the Liberal Party a few years later. His party also fractured because of the rift between himself and Paul Martin. This fracture would take the Liberal Party to its lowest level in the late 2000s and early 2010s. Of course, arguably the most famous part of Kretschen's time as Prime Minister is the Shawinigan Handshake, which happened in 1995. And it's something that I covered on my podcast, Canadian History X. So, check it out. So that was Jean Kretschen. Who will be number eight? Tune in next time.